Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. CyanogenMod has been developing a brand new gallery app called Gallery Next that will soon be replacing the AOSP gallery in CyanogenMod. If you want to see what it's all about, you're in the right place because we're going to check it out. Okay, since this app is still in beta, we're going to go over the functionality and design pretty quickly so you can have an idea of what this is all about. As you can see, this is a gallery app, so it does gallery app-like things, like viewing photos and videos stored on your device. As advertised, you can sign into a few services to get your cloud-stored photos as well. This includes Facebook, Picasa, Flickr, and Dropbox. Signing in is easy enough, and everything loads as quickly as you can reasonably expect it to. Once everything is loaded in, it can be sorted a few different ways. You can view everything all at once in a tiled layout, view by album, and view by moments. Moments is simply a bunch of photos that are grouped together by common things like date. Of course, there are the basic functions of a gallery app that are present as well. There is a sharing function, the ability to view photo details, and support for photos, videos, and GIFs. In terms of design, CyanogenMod keeps it simple. There's a left side slide out menu that lets you navigate around the app and everything is viewed in tile format. It's color neutral so you don't have to worry about it clashing with any custom themes. That's really it folks, they kept it nice and simple. So here's a quick list of things we liked about it. It's very simple. There's no complicated menus to deal with or weird, unfamiliar user interface elements. You just open it up, pick a category you want to view, and then view content. The moments feature works on all of your photos at once or each source individually, which I thought was kind of cool. So you can have it work for all of your photos or just your Facebook photos or just your Dropbox photos. Lastly, signing into the various cloud services is pretty easy. Usually we do a list of things that we didn't like, but since this is a beta and some features may not be fully implemented and all the bugs may not be fully squashed yet, we're not going to give the app the same scrutiny we would give a fully released app. That said, there are some small bugs that still need to be squashed. Again, it is a beta so this is expected, but I did experience a crash or two while I was checking it out. The only other thing is the number of cloud services available. Right now it's just the major four, which is Facebook, Dropbox, Picasa, and Flickr, while that'll be just fine for most people, support for additional services would be nice to see. Also, there are no settings, so you can't really change anything about the app even if you wanted to. Overall, this is going to be a very solid gallery app offering when it's finished. It's simple and modern with enough functionality to put it head and shoulders above the standard AOSP gallery app. In most cases, it's quick and we're sure bug fixes and optimizations will make it even better before it's released. If you want to check it out, we have a link to the Google Plus community you can join to get the app that also has the full instructions. It's fairly easy, just join the community, become a beta tester, and then download it. Keep in mind this is not a finished product yet, so bad things will probably happen while you use this application until all of the bugs get fixed. Unless you're into being a beta tester, we recommend you pass this one up until it becomes a full release. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out these social media links below. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion in the video description. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.